What's up, it's you? For today's video, we be full Treasures of Ruin Pokemon team. These are the Runus Pokemon that you catch at, at the end of Scarlet and Violet, and there are four of them. So we've got Wochin, Chinyu, Chianpao, and Ting Lu. I think I got them mostly right. Now, they've got some very interesting abilities. They've all got like a Ruin ability that does something to do with the stats. I'll explain the video. And they've got some pretty cool moves and stats to go with that. If you like the videos, people, hit that like button and let me know what you think of these Pokemon in the comment section. What's your favorite Runus Pokemon? Or what do you think of them in general? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section of the video. They are very out there sort of designs. I've got four battles today with this team and let's get cranking. So we've got a Sloking lead and let me go over my Ting Lu set. This is a basically a really, really bulky Pokemon. It's got the ability Vessel of Ruin. So that actually drops the special attack of the active Pokemon by 25%. So I've got Spike, Stealth Rock, Runation, and I've got Memento. Runation is a new move. It does fixed damage. So you, basically it's like Super Fang, but it's a dark type move. I've got Max L and max defense and I've got careful nature. This thing is super super bulky. So swapping out into my next Pokemon here, this is going to be Wo Chin. I think I got that right. I've got Max L, the Max Special Defense, and Bold Nature. This has the ability Tablets of Ruin, which actually drops the attack of the other Pokemon on the field there by 25%. This has Runation, Leech Seed, Poison Powder, and a Mean Look. It's a very, very tanky Pokemon, and it is a Dark and Grass type. Ting Lu is a dark and ground type. So we've got this interesting set here, this a Titan, and it's actually going to be set up by Sloking, which has a very, very interesting move. Basically, it tells a bad joke. It's sort of like me. It's called Chilling Reception. You know, I tell a joke, I say it, and then no one laughs, and it's like crickets in the room. So what happens after that, after you get like no laughter and stuff like that. The, uh, the the snow or the hail gets set up there with snow as a new hail, and then you actually swap out. So interesting sort of move there. I wonder how they come up with that name. Uh, maybe they listen to a couple of Pimp Night jokes. Nah, that'd, that'd be awesome if they did. Anyway, so this thing is very, very powerful. It's got Slush Rush as its ability, and it's really, really wiping through my team at the moment. So I have to, I gotta uh, actually shut this thing down. Now, we're going to be going into Ting Lu now. This has a Passion Berry as its item as well. Wo Chin has a leftover. Actually, no, it doesn't have a Passion Berry. It's a Rocky Helmet. That's why. I was thinking about running a Passion Berry, then I changed my mind to Rocky Helmet. Uh, most of the time with this Pokemon, I managed to get a lot of my entry hazards actually set up here. So, obviously, it's a little bit more of a competitive set here. You know, in the future, you'll probably see me using, like, a special one of these. Uh, regardless, I'm going to get wrecked there, but I did get some quality Rocky Helmet damage against the, uh, the Titans. That was kind of nice. What I'm going to do now is go into Chi Yu. So this Pokemon is pretty cool. We got a special attacker here. So we've got Timber Nature, Max Speed, Max Special Attack, Heavy Duty Boots as the item, and it's a Dark and Fire type. It's got Beads of Ruin. What this does, it drops the special defense of the opposing Pokemon by 25%. So uh, pretty powerful when using a special set. It's got 135 base power. So it's quite a no-joke Pokemon. So when you look Look at this team, there's two like sort of like bulky support Pokemon and the other one are two like very offensive sweeping Pokemon. So that's going to be the end of um, oh, Espartha. That's it. That's a psychic type. I'm still sort of learning all these names as well and pronouncing them perfectly, of course. So in comes our next Pokemon. It's funny because this Pokemon I haven't sent out on my team yet. This is the last Runa's Pokemon. This is Chien Pao. So this Pokemon is uh, got the ability Sword of Ruin. So virtually it does what Chi Yu does, but it does it on the uh, defensive side instead. So... This Pokemon is wild. It's got uh, very, very powerful attacks at and very powerful speed. So on my uh, Chi, uh, Chi Yu, this has got Terra Blast, Psychic, Fire Blast, and uh, Dank Pulse. And I've got the Terra Water. And I found this worked very, very nicely for getting around moves like that. Um, I also had um, uh, Zero D Hero Palafin come in and go for a uh, priority water type move. I changed it to a water Terra, got around it, and one shot it. It's a very, very good Terra type to run on this Pokemon. Basically, Terra Blast is like Hidden Power, and it's very, very nice, and you can run it with your 
you know, your Terra type as well. Next Pokemon to come in here is going to be Meow Skarda. Now they can go for a Flower Trick and come in and take me out there. Before I was a Fire and Dark type, so they couldn't do that. Uh, now I'm going to get wrecked in one shot there. Just outpaces me a little bit, even with the Tibman nature. So my very last Pokemon I've got here, obviously, is going to be Chian Pao. Now, this is definitely a physical sweeping Pokemon, and I will say this, I'll give you a little uh, teaser. I did get a Chian Pao sweep, and I'll probably put that one up uh, maybe today or tomorrow, something like that. So this is Max Attack Max Speed, obviously, and I've given it Jolly Nature. It's got 135 base speed and 120 attack. It's a Dark and an Ice type. So it is four times weak to fighting, but you can always change that with Terra in the right situation. I've got Lumberry as the item, as I found that's the most optimal item on there. You could run heavy duty boots as well. I just don't like getting burned with this Pokemon. Next Pokemon to come here is going to be uh, Sarah Ledge. This is a fire and ghost type. Now this is sort of paramount on this Pokemon to have a dark type move. I found Crunch or Throat Chop are perfect on this because this Pokemon loves to come in and others because you know you've got uh, Ice or Crash and Sacred Sword. In that situation, I couldn't do anything. So it's very, very good to have that sort of coverage move there. Last Pokemon is going to be the Slowking. Uh, they're going to hit by the Spikes and the Stealth Rock. I went for the Throw Chop to get the win, and they cancelled the battle. Basically, the battle was there over. And, uh, yeah, pretty impressive there. Those Pokemon are very, very strong, like uh, Chien Pao and Chi Yu. The other ones are more set up, but they're still pretty cool. Uh, let's get on to the next battle here. Now, if you can, uh, if, if you know what the opponent's names are as well, let me know in the comment section. It's also couple of people that always translate them for me. I, I do appreciate, I do always read my comments there. So if you want me to see something, the best way for me to see that is to leave a comment below. I always reply to my comments every day. I, I sort of do as a daily ritual in the, mo in the morning when I have my breakfast and stuff like that. I go through and you know, answer all the comments I can. All right, this is a pretty cool team. So this is a uh, like a, uh, a snow team here. So we got an Obama zone. Now I have to say one thing here as well. With the uh, new buff, to uh, the Hail Snow, um, Ice types actually get a 1.5 uh, defensive boost in the hail. So that's a nice buff there. Very, very nice buff. Uh, you don't take any damage anymore, I guess. But that's a very, very big uh, buff for Ice type Pokemon. And you know what? It's about time they got a buff as well. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to actually go for Mento and drop my uh, drop my Tinglu out of this battle because I want to swap in my uh, Chi Yu here. Now, this is a pretty interesting uh, team, actually. So they had a, uh, a Bombardier lead, which is a flying attack, and then they went into a Bomber. So now what they're going to do is swap the Abomasaur out, and they're going to go into uh, Seralish, or another Seralish. This Pokemon is uh, fairly popular. I've seen this uh, quite a lot. Now, they've got the Flash Fire ability here. I thought they might go into another Pokemon, not that, but uh, you get to see in a sec. So, I've got a Flash Fire. Then they swapped out again, so I'm like, okay, they're obviously... Obviously, my Pokemon's pretty good against their team. The Veil is also up at the same time, too. So, the next Pokemon to come in here is going to be uh, Bax Calabar. This is a Dragon and Ice Pokemon. Now, it's got an ability called Thermal Exchange. What does that ability do? Basically, if it gets hit by a Fire-type move, it doesn't take any damage, and it gets an Attack Rise, and it also can't be burned. So, that's sort of what I thought they may swap in then. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my uh, Chiyu here, and I'm going to go into a Water-type and hit it with a Terra Blast. I was hoping that uh, the Serra Ledge would stay in there, but uh, it didn't. So, this uh, takes it very well. Plus, it also has Ice Body as this ability instead of the uh, Thermal Exchange, and and it's got leftovers too. So they're running uh, more of a, a dedicated ice team here, which is cool. So swapping out Chi Yu here, what I'm trying to do at the moment, I'm trying to wait out that veil because I don't want to swap in my real, like I don't want to really swap in Chi and Pal at the moment because that would be a bad idea. So now we're going to have a Dragon Dance with this Pokemon, and this has a pretty nice attack stat here. So I've got my Wo Chi at the moment, I've got Runation, I've got Leech Seed, Poison Powder, and Mean Look. So what I'm trying to do is trap a Pokemon in and get all those things going at the same time. So uh, now we're going to have a Ice Seal Crash hit us. This is a Grass type 2, and I just lived. That was very, very close. The only reason I lived that because I was running Max Elf and had Bold Nature too. So it's a very, very thick Pokemon. You know what? My favorite Pokemon out of these four... My favorite one is actually Wo Chin. I think it's a pretty cool design. What's yours? Like, leave it below in the comment section. I want to see which one is the most popular. I think this is my prediction. I think the most 
majority of people are going to like Qian Pao. It has a really, really cool cry as well. So at this point, I was just trying to get some sort of damage against this thing. So I, I got the Leech Seed up there, which is the best I can really do. So now the Veil is gone, which is great. And now they're going to go for Ice Shard there. So Ice Shard is going to be enough to uh, fight me, which is, which is okay. At least I got rid of the Veil. So I've got two Pokemon left. i got to get back in this game. The snow has also stopped as well. One day in my life, I'm going to see snow in, in, in real life, people. I've never seen snow before. Before. So one day it's going to happen. I'm going to pick up a snowball and I'm going to, I don't know, throw it at someone. So I'm going to bring in Chien Pao here. This is prime opportunity to swap this in. So now the Bax Calibar is going to swap out and in comes the Abomber Snow. So you watch this. Remember how I was talking about the defensive buff to Ice Types? This actually shows a classic example of it. So normally Chien Pao, like, that would easily have taken out if it didn't get that boost. So it makes a massive difference. Like, that actually lived it as well, which is crazy, even after taking Stealth Rock and Spikes and all that sort of stuff. So crazy buff there. So that's going to be the end of the Abomas Stone now. Next Pokemon is the Bats Calibur. Now, at the moment, I smelled a rat. I was like... Why did they swap this in for? I think they're going to tear it into something different. So I don't want to lose that Pokemon because it's quite good against a team. I'm going to go into Chiyu and see what they're going to be doing here. So what the Bats Color is going to do is Glaive, Glaive Rush. Now what that move does, it's a powerful Dragon type move. Uh, 120 base power off the top of my head there. Um, any hits... The next turn against the uh, Bax Color, by any hits will always land against it and it will take double damage as well. So when you use that move, when you go upside down your head, it's basically hitting with the back of its like, uh, like blade thing on the back of it. Um, if you get hit by a move after that, you're going to be toast. So make sure you do uh, one shot or do a lot of damage. So bring in Chiao Pao now. Now the coast is clear. I know what they're trying to do. And that is the end of Bax Calibur. So we've got two more Pokemon left. And our uh, next Pokemon is going to be the uh, Serra Ledge again. And once again here, I'm I would have been completely walled if I didn't have a Dark type move on this Pokemon. So going for the Throat Chop there, and that is the end of Serra Ledge. One more Pokemon left. Now, they actually haven't uh, Terraged yet. So I was thinking they're going to do it with Bomburn Light. Now, this has the ability that actually boosts like Rock type moves. And I was like, well, I don't know what to do. Maybe I should... I was thinking, should I just go for a, a safe sacred, uh, like sacred sword, or maybe I should go for ice or crash? That'll at least hit everything. So I went for the ice or crash, and they're going to turn themselves into a, a dark type there. So I was like, okay, well at least that's neutral damage. Ice or crash is going to do what ice or crash does best and miss. And now it's going to go for a rock slide. Rock slide does super effective damage to me, and I just went for sacred sword. I couldn't play any games, and that was enough to take out the bomb burner. So that was a very very close battle in there, and uh, yeah, pretty cool team by my opponent there. Nice uh, nice little snow team going in there. Very cool. Uh, pardon the pun. Let's get on to battle number three here uh, with the uh, ruined Pokemon team. Uh, this is a battle against Gabe. Now, if anyone do uh, does actually come across me in a battle on um, on Scarlet Violet, let me know in the comment section. Maybe uh, I don't think I've got many uh, or any Japanese people that actually watch my videos, but maybe um, I come across anyone else. Let me know. So, first Pokemon is going to be Meow Scarlet. It's going to go for its little flower trick there, and that's a three hit KO against Ting Lu. It's pretty bulky, as you can see. Is that like a D? Would you say that's a deer? Like, it sort of looks like one, because that's, like, so I got these, like, uh, antlers and then, like, a big ball. It's like a deer, I'd say. Like, I, I put that in the class of a deer. Uh, any, oh, deer. Anyway, so it's got to use uh, Toxic Spice against me. So, this is pretty funny, because it's like a little setup uh, set up between the Meow Scarter and the uh, Tingle here. I, I was setting up stuff and so I was that. So, that's going to go for a Low Kick. Now, Low Kick isn't a really fun move to swap into, especially on my uh, Chi Yu and my GM Pow, because they rely on their high base speed, too. So setting up some more spikes against this thing. And then the Meow Scarter sets up the spikes as well. I'm like, oh, come on. So it's like two set up Pokemon at the same time. Like, I will say this. like I had little to no trouble setting up most of my entry ads in, in the majority of battles. There were some cases like... Uh, we, you know, when Dolphin came in, zero to hero. Uh, but there was some most, uh, most of the time I managed to set them up. And so Flower Trick is obviously going to be enough to take me out there. That always crits. But uh, pretty good performance there by Ting Lu tanking all those uh, hits and setting up all the entry ads that you could poke a stick at. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, Chi Yu. So Chi Yu is going to drop that special defense. And I went for Fire Blast and a miss. I was like, no, that's really, really bad. Uh, now what they're going to do is go for Low Sweep. Low Sweep is super effective, and it's also dropped my speed. So 
I'm going to get outsped this turn, so I have to swap it out and go and turn on my Pokemon. This is a disaster, because now I'm going to take unnecessary damage with my Wo Chin, and I'm also going to be poisoned too. Not that that would have... Uh, that would have already been poisoned anyway, but I'm going to take unnecessary damage. So taking spikes damage, I've got that um, attack drop there. And now it's going to go for a low sweep again. Low sweep is going to be still super effective as against this as well. So I can't actually do a lot to this Pokemon because of its typing, you know what I mean? Like I was sort of stuck here. Like, I, I don't really want to swap it out. Like I don't want any of my other Pokemon. You know, I've got my main, really this team, the Chi Yu and the Chi An Pao were like the... Really, the uh, the, the uh, real heart of the uh, you know, sort of attack on my team there. So I couldn't lose either one of them. Be like very very detrimental for me trying to win the game. I'd have to be stuck with these you know these bulky Pokemon that would have to use fixed damage moves and they yeah you know, they can be worked around eventually, especially when there's toxic spikes on the field and they don't have rest and that sort of stuff. So taking some more uh, toxic damage there uh, from the toxic spikes earlier on, it's going to go for another um, a low sweep on uh, Wo Chin and that's going to be enough to take out. Nothing I could have done then. Like, none of my moves like. You know, Leech Seed, Poison Powder. I mean, I could have used Renation, but Fire Blast is going to one-shot this anyway, so it doesn't really matter at all, and they're never going to swap. So swapping back into Chi, thank goodness Fire Blast uh, landed this time. If it missed there, I'd say it would have been very, very nasty for, for me, or losing my like last Pokemon. So the next Pokemon is going to be Garchomp, and Garchomp was like, well, I might be able to flinch this. You know, this should do some pretty good damage as well. I've got some Spikes and some Stealth Rocks. So go for that Dang Pulse, outspeeding Garchomp. Almost, it was so, so close. Garchomp's going to get Earthquake off here, and that's enough to take out the Chi Yu. Very, very close there. Oh, I don't know if it was a min or max damage. I, I, a flinch would have been incredible. Anyway, I'm down to my last Pokemon, which is Chi and Power. But uh, things can happen with this Pokemon. So once again, got that Lumberry there, which is going to uh, heal off my poison. I always like that, you know, Lumbery or Heavy Duty Boots. Like, they're very, very nice items on this Pokemon. I'd possibly go for both of them. So we're going to uh, just finish this guard chop off easy. I know I can do whatever and just go for the uh, Sacred Soul there. So that's fine. Bye-bye, guard chop. So I've still got four more Pokemon to deal with here. And the next Pokemon is going to be Volcarana. So like, okay, I hope this doesn't have... Flame body. I was like, I've used up my Lumberry already. So it's going to take disgusting damage from Stealth Rock there. And I'm just going to faint it. So no Flame Body, none of that Salt, which is good. So that's half the team down. So things are starting to look up here. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, Garganackle. This thing is super thick. I was like, okay. I don't really want to take... Like, I, I was thinking about, like, getting hit by, like, a Rock-type move, being an Ice-type. I don't want that to happen. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Terra this into a Fighting-type. That was my Terra, uh, by the way. And that's going to make it into the Fighting-type. So, that'll also boost up the power of my Fighting-type move. And on top of that, I was like, you know what? I'm feeling confident. I can set up a Sword Dance here. I need to hit this thing very, very hard. So, the uh, Minecraft Pokemon, as I like to call it, is going to go for a Soul Cure. And now that's not very effective. So, that worked out very, very well. So it's got leftovers at his item as well. So I've seen this Pokemon. Mainly people are using this to set up Salt Rock and using Salt Cure. This not really doing anything outside that after the, for this, really. I've seen a lot of people nickname it uh, you know, Minecraft as well. So they're going to go for an extra uh, Protect here. It's good to use protection, people. And uh, yeah, getting some more leftovers back. But I don't think that's really going to matter at all. They... They'd have to, they, they truly have to get back to the sturdy, and you know, that's going to take like more than one protector. They're going to need like another like three or four. So go for my fighting type move here, and they're also getting extra damage from Soul Cure as well. I guess that's what they're trying to do. Uh, so I'm just going to go for Sacred Sword here. It's already taken a little bit of damage already, no sturdy there, and that's going to be it of the Garganackle. So I've got like sky high attack at the moment, especially the fighting type move. So I'm going to take some more uh, salt damage there, and I've got two more Pokemon to deal with. Last Pokemon I was really, truly worried about was Toxapex. Like, okay, I know what you're probably going to do here. I think you're going to go for Baneful Bunker and try and combo that in with the Salt Cure. So here comes the Baneful Bunker, and this turn I went for Sword Dance. That was a really good play there, because now I've got crazy attack on top of that, and I didn't get poison at all. Now, they could risk going for a second one there, or they're just going to have to face the music and get hit by my attacking move here. So Salt Cure plus that... Toxic would have actually, you know, almost finished with that. So go for Throat Chop, and Toxapex gets one shot. It's the best feeling in the world when you one shot a Toxapex, people. It truly is when you know you know. So Salt Cure, again, 
See how see how that would have taken me out with Baneful Bunker? I saved my bacon there. Last Pokemon's going to be Horner. I'm not sure what they're doing. This is probably some sort of like troll set with maybe Destiny Bot. I'm just going to finish off with the Throat Drop. And that is the end of that battle there. So things are looking really, really bad at the start there. But I managed to get back into the game uh, with the Jian Pao. And it's got the ability to do that. It's got high speed, high attack, and make a couple of good predictions. It always works out there. So uh, let's battle. Uh, this is number four. I'm not really sure. Oh, this is against Rain, so we've got a, 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 a shimming another English opponent here, and we've got a Ampharos lead. Now, this is a uh, this is a pretty good matchup for me because I can just go for some edge hazards, being a uh, you know ground type as well. I knew that Ampharos wouldn't be too excited to stay in. So out comes uh, Tickatong. It's got the Mold Breaker ability. I've got to get around to uh, doing a, a ticket a ticket on sweep. It's quite a uh, interesting Pokemon. It's got a big hammer, you know, a very very big hammer. It could be like that hammer in Super Smash Brothers, you know, that goes nah, 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 that sort of one. Anyway, back to the battle. So it's going to hit me with a player up. It doesn't really do too much damage to me. Like it's a four hit KO because I'm so like super thick, you know. Wait, I just got a little idea then. I could potentially do like a gear sort of thing, like Swordsbuck, Ting Lu, Stantler. Why, why deer? Man, I, I think that's four Pokemon. I wonder if there's two more. Like, is there any more deer Pokemon? I mean, I could use dealing, you know? That's five. Like, can anyone think of any other, like, stag deer-like Pokemon, like, that I'm not thinking of on the spot? Anyway, maybe a future team that I could do. And yes, speaking of the animal teams, I am going to revamp the dog team again for, like, the third time, and I'll be using all the dog Pokemon. Uh, you, matter of fact, speaking of dogs, I may even be able to do the cats as well with Chien and Pao if we've got any more new cat-like Pokemon. Let me know on that one as well if you want to see them. And if you can think of any other teammates there, I'll try and endeavor to get them done in the near future. So anyway, uh, my Pokemon got wrecked there by four play last. But you know what? It, it was chill. I set up all the edge hazards. Things are going pretty nicely. So that's going to be the end of the uh, uh, Tinker Tong there. Next Pokemon is going to be Glimor. And this Pokemon is uh, going to be kind of susceptible here because I've got Psychic on this. So going for Psychic, I was like, this should... This should be able to take it unless they're very bulky and it's got to faint. You know, this thing's got big, big uh, special attack as well. And they probably didn't expect me to have Psychic. Next Pokemon here is going to be Air Frost. Like, okay, Air Frost, it is going to take a fair bit of damage there. I, I know its special defense is pretty good, but I've got this ability, you know, like Beads of Ruin. It's, it's a strong ability, you know what I mean? Dropping that special defense by 25% is a lot. Especially when you've got like a thumping 135 base attack. So... We got the Air Frost going for the Terra Electric type this year, which is pretty cool. Like the big light bulb on its head. My move is just simply too... It's just simply power, basically, this Pokemon. Like, uh, Chi Yu and Jam Power are just power. That, that's that's what they are, you know? And they, they've got pretty... They've got a right bulk to them, too. Especially, its special defense is, like, 276 at, like, 120 base power and 276 at level 100, so it's pretty good. Next Pokemon is going to be Jian Pao. Now, I've got to say, this is the most popular, uh... Treasure Ruin Pokemon that I've seen. I've seen no, like, mo most people are using this Pokemon out of these four right now. I think I've only seen Cheer You once. And I've done about, I want to say I've done nearly 200 battles in Scarlet and Violet so far. So I don't think there'd be too many people that have done that many so far. But I want to say I've done close to 200 battles. So anyway, we're going to have a, uh, a Terra here. And we're going to have the Fighting type. So I know this is probably going to use Sacred Sword. And I just went for that anyway, because I want to be able to one shot. Unless I go, you know, I lose the speed side. So Chien Pao is going to get wrecked there, which is nice. And that's four Pokemon down. I've only got two more to go. Now, the next Pokemon to come out here is going to be another Meowskata. Meowskata is everywhere. So many people are using this at the moment. Obviously, because it's ability protein. Now, protein has been nerfed. So it only sort of works once, and that's about it. So going for uh, my attacking move there, that's going to be the end of my Skata, outspeeding easy. And the last Pokemon is Arcanine. So it's like, oh, okay, Arcanine. Now, I know this gets extreme speed, and I was thinking, all right, I'm just going to swap out and see what it does here, just in case something goes badly wrong. I've got a little bit of backup. So going to Wochin here, I know that I'm weak to fight, but I just want to see what move it's going to use, and it's going to use extreme speed. So like, okay, obviously... Now, that's going to do hardly any damage to me. I'm a very, very bulky Pokemon, but 
you know, Chien Pao isn't the greatest in the world in defense. If it, 80 is all right. The thing about it, it's got good health, you know, 80 on health and 80 on defense. It's not all that bad. But uh, if it gets hit by something really powerful, it is going to faint there. Even, like, even a neutral powerful move will hurt a lot. Uh, so I'm going to get my Poison Power to set up on the Arcanine here. And I can go for, also go for Leech Seed at the same time, too. So it's a physical set. I should be able to, like... You know, be fine and gets it, but it actually turned out to be like a, a mix attacker. So it was a pretty interesting set there with uh, you know extreme speed aim flame throw. So flame throw is hitting me really, really hard there. Like actually, matter of fact, oh, yo, that was max. That had to be max special attack because I was like max uh, health, max special defense. Like this was this is like a super powerful special attacking set. Uh, so anyway, the Arcanine has got one more turn left here. I was like, I wonder if I can leave this attack. It might be very close. So I went for the leech seed here. Wo Chin lives on three health and manages to get the disrespect leech seed KO. Look at them little seeds planting. Ready? Watch this. This is pure salt when you get a KO with it. And that's going to be the end of the Arcanine. And that is the end of the fourth battle. I hope you enjoyed the Treasures of Ruin team, the Ruderous Pokemon. Very, very cool Pokemon. Pretty strong too. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace out, people.